All right, so I managed to get all the apps on. We got DoorDash, we got Uber, and we got Grubhub working. I think I'm gonna stay up here in Upper Manhattan, right under Central Park for a little bit. Cause why the hell not? Let's just try it out. Feeling a little adventurous. The only issue is, you know, if you if you're up this high, it's gonna you're gonna get a lot of orders that are going up north. And obviously, the higher you go, you get closer to the Bronx. And I do not want to go in the Bronx. I don't think I've been in the Bronx for like a fucking year, man. A while. So I'll probably go back down towards 42nd Street, hang out there a little bit. I just rejected uh, like two Grubhub offers within like five minutes. And they don't like that. They really do not like that. Grubhub is, that's a bad, bad. I'm, I'm bad for that. I'm, I'm a horrible, horrible driver for that for declining orders that pay me less than minimum wage. I'm just so, so bad. <laughs> Fucking Grubhub. Anyway, yeah, I, I bet you anything, if I decline one more, they're gonna kick me off. What's funny is that it's like, once they kick you off, you try to come back on, they're like, oh, there's too many drivers out right now, sorry, basically. It's like, oh, you can't log in because there's too many drivers out, which is complete bullshit. And see, I already got a threat from, from Grubhub saying, hey, it looks like you haven't been accepting orders. Oh, yeah, they kicked me off. <laughs> I declined two orders and they just kicked me off. Those motherfuckers. Fucking, wow. And if I try to get back on, well, I won't be able to get back on for 30 minutes, but if I try to get back on after that 30 minutes, they say, oh, you know, too many huts, you know, too many drivers out. They'll say that even during the busiest times. It was not like this last year. Last year you could, you know, they might kick you off, but they wouldn't keep you off, you know? I don't know. It's a, uh, you know, it's a manipulation shit. It's how they roll. So I just got a uh, trip rate I'll order with uh, Uber, $8, $8.03 for 16 minutes. Hopefully I get it. And I got it. Five guys off 40 seconds. Five guys. Right here. Yeah, as far as the Sherman Max go, I got uh, like almost 12,000 miles on this fucking thing. It just, and lately, every day I get on it now, I'm just like, this thing just won't die. Like, it just won't die. Like, it's just as strong as it ever was. And the battery, you can't even tell there's been like any drop in the battery or anything. I actually bought like another one of these backpacks. It's like brand new, but I've been too lazy to in, like put the sides in it and get it all ready. Cause you gotta put the plat, they come with like those plastic sides that holds the sides up and you put it inside the backpack. Thank you. I'm sorry, bro. But I've been too lazy to do that. Cause <laughs> I've had this backpack for probably a year close to it, maybe not that long, but it's beat up, dude. Uh, this drop off's three minutes to the northwest. I was gonna get this other backpack that I used to have in the past, but they were all out of it. So I, I like the backpack I have, and mainly it's because the sides are strong and uh, I could put pizzas on the top. It doesn't matter what size pizza, like why would you, I don't know. I stole that idea off Wilser, by the way. He puts pizza's on the outside top of the backpack and he puts it in a pizza bag and he straps it up and ever since I, I noticed he did that I started doing it and uh, it's just a great fucking idea so that's why I would never get like a, a backpack if it's floppy or flimsy or if it doesn't have the, the hard plastic siding on it because I I'm always thinking about pizza man pizza orders they can come in fucking clutch like, there's literally a pizza program on DoorDash that if you don't have a fucking way to deliver pizzas, you ain't getting no orders with them sometimes, especially on the, like, Friday nights. I'm doing a lot of talking here, but... Oh, well. Like, doing shit, like, at this time, like, up here... Like, I, I tend to work at this time at night, but I never do the graveyard shift and, like, all night. So, it's like... It's like a new experience, you know? 
It's like, it reminds me when I first started, it's like a fucking adventure, you know? And plus, I don't, I try not to work up here this often. Ooh. Oh shit, this is meat outside, okay. Fucking. Forgot to record that, but we just dropped that off. Waiting on the next order. Nine dollars, 1.8 miles from Chai, I think you say that. Going to 60th Street. I definitely have not been here before. I like the decorations. Got a spider up there. <laughs> And yes, I watch my EUC. I would not put it there if I have to go far. Uber? Yes, uh, for Susan Z. Susan Z, yes. Yep. It's, okay, it's a more. big one. Shit. Cool, thank you. Fuck. It's a big ass order. It's like huge. You'll see how big it is when I put it in my bag. Uh, here's a better example. So this thing is 86 pounds. My electric unicycle. Look how big that fucking bag is. It's one of the bigger bags I've seen. My backpack is 16 inch by 16 inch by 16 inch. So that's like a 16 inch wide bag. One of the biggest bags I've ever seen. This one's pretty big, but one of the biggest bags I've ever seen was from fucking Shake Shack. Look at that. that actually fit pretty good though. It was hilarious too because it was like two burgers and they gave me a bag that was like 20. It was like probably 20 inches long. It was so big, I couldn't even put it in my backpack, dude. I'm just like, you gave me this big ass bag for two fucking sandwiches, like get out of here. I actually think it came with like a drink or something like that. They were trying to put it all in the bag. It's like, all right, you guys got to rethink your packing strategy. Seven minutes to the Northwest. Excuse me, uh, I'm sorry. I know it says one West End here, but this isn't 21 West End, is it? Is it, this isn't 21 West End, is it? 21 West End is that building over there. You know where the Starbucks is? Uh, it's right by the Starbucks. No, the entire building is 21, but their entrance is facing that way. So you go here? Like where the Starbucks is? Yeah. Two blocks up on 61st Street. The opposite corner. Go around that corner and it's that corner. It's like where this is, but it's that, that way. Got it, it's got it. That Makes it's sense. The river. Two blocks left, and then it's going to be at the end to the right. Yeah, go, go to yep. 61st, make a left at the Starbucks, and then it's the first, it's a corner lobby facing that way. Thank you so much. I wouldn't have found it. Thank you. Wow, yeah, I would have never guessed that. Google Maps took me right here. It's literally two blocks that you take a left, and then somewhere by Starbucks. <laughs> so it's right here. Google Maps actually did take me kind of close to the right spot. 21 West End, what the fuck? Huh? See, that's where like customer notes would come in handy. Here we go, right here. So that's the issue with when a building's a whole fucking block, right? You can come on in four different sides. By the way, those sh Sh uh, sh what is it, Shibu? Sh 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 Shibu? No, oh, let me see. Hello. Um, I have a food delivery. Uh, left side. Left side? All right, thank you. Sh what is it? Shib Shibu Yunos or some shit? It's fucking dogs. Hello. Hello. Uh, do you have the pen, please? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, I was saying, God, I have to say that name again. Those dogs, those fucking ship, ship, ship you. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, those dogs, they're getting super popular, man, this, this year. I, I, you see them everywhere now, and like, it's weird, like, I fucking love those dogs too, God damn it. I started seeing them on YouTube, I'm just like, those dogs are fucking awesome, man. They're so fucking cute, and I, I usually don't get that reaction, but when I see one of those dogs, I'm just like, those dogs are so cool. So I can actually understand why, why those dogs are so popular, but although I'm guessing one of my neighbors have one of those fucking dogs because at the worst time at night, that dog is just, like cries constantly. It's just like, oh. Seven fifty-seven, seventeen minutes or some shit like that. It's going down to Twenty Seventh Street. Hello. Uh, pick up for this person. Thank you. You got it. As you see here, there's a Get Whiz bike right here. And it is, what, 11.38 p.m.? So, I, I wasn't sure if you could take the bikes home or whatever. You must be able to when you ride them. Or maybe they own that bike, I don't know, but I always wondered about that. Because the shop closes at like 8 p.m. here in Manhattan, so you must be able to take it home. Because like I said, it's fucking 12 o'clock in the morning and they're doing deliveries on a Gitwiz bike, so there's no way they can deliver. There's no way they can return the bike tonight, so. That's a big reason why people subscribe. Here's another Gitwiz bike. <clears throat> hey, you guys, uh, are you guys allowed? I was thinking about running a Gitwiz bike. Are you allowed to um, take it home? Right? Yeah. Yeah, but for Gitwiz, can you rent them and take them home? You can? Okay, I was just curious, I didn't know. I didn't know if you rented it and then took it back, you know what I mean? Like, anyway, I was just curious, thank you. These Gitwiz bikes, man, they're pretty popular here in the city, I'm telling you. Uh, kind of a new, huge ass residential. I don't think it's been around that long. It's a nice place. Hello. Good. Um, I have a food delivery. Yep. You got it. Thank you. Yep. This four. See in the notes here, it says, no from customer, please leave at door and knock. That's the only time when I knock, is if it's a leave it at door order and they ask me to knock, or if it's me in person and they don't answer, I'll knock or whatever, or I'll just knock if it's a me in person. But I won't knock if it's a leave it at door order and they don't, and they don't leave instructions to do that. Going down. That loud ass fucking elevator. I won't knock if it's a leave it at door order and they don't leave instructions to do that. Cause like I said, many times, a lot of times they don't want you to knock because maybe it's late, maybe it's early, too early. Maybe they got babies sleeping. Maybe they got fucking loud ass dogs. A lot of times they'll put it in the notes, please don't knock. And they'll put it in capital with exclamation points. Cause they really don't want you to knock. So I just don't knock and it doesn't affect anything. It doesn't affect your tips, anything. I've been doing that since I started. I've been holding on to that methodology, is that a fucking word? Since I started, it's never been a problem, so. I'm gonna knock this time because it told me to knock. You know, sometimes customers leave notes from previous orders on this order. It could be on this order or something, even though it's intended for an earlier order. I don't know. I never really order with the apps, but whatever it says in the notes, I will do that.